welcome to my channel! I have been so excited for this video, so excited to get this parcel. I've literally been so <gasps> looking behind my curtains for the last three days. <laughs> Where's the postman? And the second I take my eye off the ball, my pants were on my ankles, my bum cheeks were on the rim. I was about to have a nice, quiet poo time. Ding dong! So here we are. Makeup Revolution is a UK based, cruelty free, mostly, mostly vegan brand. And they make, they make makeup, bro. Oh, it says Los Angeles as well. London, lots of London, lots of London. Um, and they have just brought out a Beetlejuice collab. They've done loads of collabs. They did Game of Thrones, Friends, Powerpuff Girls, Clueless. What else they do? Oh, I just found a massive spot. Just pick it. I don't really follow their collabs. The only ones I was really interested in, oh, they did, they did Corpse Bride. Um, the only ones I was really interested in were the Nightmare Before Christmas one, which I did get and I did review on my channel, and the Simpsons collab, which I got for Christmas, and that was awesome. Oh my god, now that spot is bleeding. I think last year Melt Cosmetics brought out a Beetlejuice collab, and it was so popular. It sold out in minutes, and they never got it back in stock, and that freaking sucks, because I was online, I was waiting for it, and no, I couldn't get a single piece of it. It was gone. It went faster than my erection when I see Andrew Tate's face. So I was a little bit, you know, I was actually not a little, let's not play it down, Emily. I was very disappointed that I didn't get the Melt Cosmetic ones, but they were also very, and I'm very, <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, sugar sticks, I didn't manage to get it, bro. But on the other hand, I was like, I'm kind of glad I didn't manage to get it because, <sighs> I'm broke. And then when I saw that Makeup Revolution brought out that uh, were bringing out their own Beetlejuice collection, I was like, <sighs> and then I saw pictures of it, and I was like, <laughs> this is so far down my street. It had got to the end of the alley, it had turned around, and it had showered at that random stranger. Stop following me! Makeup wise, I tend to only wear green, black, white. And purple that then I you know I'll occasionally step out of my little cardboard box and you know try red but they're the four colors that I tend to wear every day and when I saw the collab and I saw it was pretty much all those colors I was waiting for it I signed up for everything because it just kept saying coming soon coming soon coming soon it never actually gave a date but one of you guys tagged me in trend moods tag and they had the date that it came out so I set a reminder on my phone it was like the 20 third whenever whenever the date was i set a reminder like first thing in the morning beetlejuice collab in true makeup revolution style it came out the day before so i was on the bus home from work and um, my bus goes right through the countryside i don't get any signal and i was on the top of this double decker bus at the at the front of course i'm pretending like i'm driving playing pokemon go catching a zuba and all of a sudden makeup revolution beetlejuice is in stock and i was like a heavy I'm glad no one else was at the top of this bus because I was practically like <gasps> because I had no signal and I was trying so hard to get everything that I wanted and uh, everything and it crashed and I tried to pay um and then it, it it timed out or something and it went back to the main screen and I'd lost everything in my basket it was so dramatic but I managed to get most of what I wanted. I really wanted to get the cake liners, but I, by the time I'd actually made it through to checkout, like the fifth time, they weren't in my basket, and I just like, no, I just can't, I can't, can't do this anymore. This Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice collab included lashes, false nails, but no nail varnish. I would have liked some nail varnish, Makeup Revolution. Highlighter, green mascara, brushes, liners, lipsticks, makeup bag, an ugly sponge, a handheld mirror, and three palettes and cake liners. I think that's everything. Probably missed out loads, but I think that's everything. And it came out the day before payday as well. I swear they did that on purpose because I, I was, um, thank you PayPal credit for saving me having a breakdown on the bus because I was poor. Um, I still am poor, but I was poor, like super poor because it was just before payday and yeah, PayPal credit, boo, keeping me in debt. I'm so happy they did a Beetlejuice collection, but I was very surprised they didn't do a Hocus Pocus one. I feel like you missed a chance there, Makeup Rev. Rev, you're listening guys, Revs. 
I feel like you missed a chance because the new Hocus Pocus is coming out. It already has a huge following. Yeah, with the new film, I feel like you could have done the individual palettes. We could have had a Mary palette. Uh, like, they could have been oranges, purples, greens, really autumnal Halloween shades. And I would have been all over that. I'm a little bit angry about that, but it's fine. It's fine. So my parcel just came mid poo so let's open it i did take my address off my camera is gonna keep going light and it's gonna keep ruining this whole video but i'm sorry if you if it bothers you that much buy me a new camera so here we go let's open my flaps for beetlejuice <gasps> i mean who wouldn't real value amazing quality always inclusive 100 percent cruelty free you are the revolution it's just picking on me now because this looks, looks like toilet paper i forgot what i got are you ready kids oi oi captain i have my base on already i've got my foundation powder <gasps> Lip brows and i'm gonna finish off my makeup with everything that i bought and test it out for you guys so the first thing that i do after i've done my brows is my eyeshadow and i i got two palettes but i'm gonna try the beetlejuice revolution eyeshadow <laughs> it's like embossed it's textured it's really nice and this is called the it's showtime palette this was the main one i wanted it uh it oh it's got bugs down the side it, I'm a sucker for packaging. How do I open it? <gasps> I've ripped it. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, we've ripped it. It's fine. It's fine. We've ripped it. I paid for it. It's fine. So the actual palette is exactly the same as the box. Oh, that's really... Sounds like the Beatles running across it. It's a nice size as well. Like you know hands are decent decent because it was about it's about 12 pound which i think is a good price for well I'll, I'll, I'll i think it's a good price for a palette but i don't know how well the palette is <gasps> oh it's magnetic okay i've just spat in it i actually did just spit in it but hey it's coming out all right um ghost with the most beetlejuice yeah first thing i will say is the the shades are a lot smaller than i thought they were going to be i feel like there's a lot of space like you know they could have they could have been a tad bigger oh literally every shade in this is my aesthetic awesome names as well three times say my name say my name say my name here lies do you like it no dante's inferno sandworm waiting room it's showtime recently deceased there's a mixture of mattes shimmers i'm gonna do like my everyday normal makeup using these and you know what guys i actually washed all my makeup brushes for this i washed them all every single one it took me ages oh, just take my glasses off now i can't see what i'm doing let's go in with oh we're gonna do some nose blush so we'll save that for nose so i'm gonna try the this gorgeous purpley shade clean fingers let's try recently deceased and it's showtime oh okay nice nice there's a gold dante's inferno nice shimmery gold they're very actually very soft i find revolutions makeup is usually nice and it's so cheap i feel like i can't complain about it but it's um but it can be a bit chalky so let's get a brush this is my favorite brush and let's go in so we're gonna do oh uh, i feel like i just tested that purple so i'm gonna do a different purple we're gonna do do you like it it's quite a bit of fallout pressure is on oh that is nice it does take a little bit of building rome wasn't built in a day it does take a little bit of building and it is very um powdery it's almost a bluey purple almost almost a royal blue it's definitely purple though and then we're gonna go in with there's three four gorgeous greens i'm gonna go for the shimmery sandworm green oh there's like no fallout in that one <gasps> oh slap my ass and call me lucy oh my god oh my god i think i just came this shimmery shade is beautiful it didn't take much at all so i think maybe the shimmers shimmers are 
they feel a bit more pigmented than the matte shades oh my god look at that do you really like it is it is it wicked i'm loving it loving it loving it oh my god okay mm. how close are you to an orgasm emily sandworm i'm gonna do a different shade on the inside let's go for a completely different one so let's go for oh have some laughs oh they've stained my fingers a little bit we've got a clean finger here so let's see what that one's like oh it's kind of like a really soft lavender like a gray almost yeah let's do that one then it's another shimmery one. Oh, it's very subtle it's almost like a gray white i think i would use that one more for highlight rather than eyeshadow oh my god darn you're gorgeous i don't know what's going on but i know i want a piece of it oh that, okay i really love that three times oh this is a dark purple a very dark purple let's put it under my eyes <gasps> i love this oh my god that is so that's like a really nice really dark smoky royal purple this shade is the diana of the royal family and i love it beautiful i'm actually gonna carry that one on because my usual type of makeup is i would do lines down here so we're gonna do that today I should have used a different brush, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I like the magnets. They don't feel super strong, though. <laughs> Very nice. So, first impressions of this palette. Really, really, really happy with it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely get in my basket, because we're going home. Love it. But I also got the Say My Name felt tip liner pen i'm a sucker for an eyeliner pen always oh, got a beetle on the end i don't mean like a ringo or a george i mean like a a cockroach i feel like there's a joke there somewhere <sighs> Ooh, say my name say my name when no one is around you so the the packaging is i don't think you'll be able to see it's it's matte with kind of vinyl sandworm going all the way around really subtle but that is gorgeous and then it's got green beetlejuice branding in the middle don't know why i smelled it so i'm gonna do my normal liner oh it's all right um i would have liked a chunkier nib but it it is black i think it's just a little bit too fine for what i like it's nice though Emily likes a chunky boy. It's covering the shadow well as well, which is always a plus. Mmm, nice. I feel like I need some black though. I might add some black. Okay, it wasn't good for those lines. <laughs> it was, it, it's an odd pen. I'm gonna add some black eyeshadow to this because believe it or not, I am going out after this and I, you know, I'm having fun, but I do want to look presentable. And then what I do after I've done my liner is put black eyeshadow just to blend it out a little bit. So we're gonna go back in with a waiting room and I'm just gonna pop that over the top. I don't like to do it before the liner because I never know how my liner's gonna look. So I do it afterwards so I can blend it a bit easier. Oh, that black is black as well. It's not grey oh love it don't sing loving it loving it we're gonna go in with our crosses oh that is really delicate all my other felt liners are quite heavy and chunky um but this is so if you just do it really gentle the end is really floppy and nibby and it's really good for detail like the crosses i've just like the crosses i've just done so i would definitely use this as more of a detail felt liner rather than the cat eye eyeliner that I just did well that i just attempted to do so excited for this this is one thing that i wanted so badly green oh you can use your hair is the strange and unusual green mascara there's the little bug little buggy boy Little buggy bitch. Packaging of everything is just so, it just works so well. It's so aesthetic. I love that you can use this on your hair. I mean, my hair is already green, so I might end up doing my pubes. Let's just 
use it on your face first don't believe it <laughs> feels very very light feels like there's actually nothing in it it's got the same striped matte and vinyl packaging which i really like so what i'm gonna do is oh in case you haven't realized i'm not a makeup artist i'm just a twat that likes to put shit on her face so i'm gonna give this a go i'm gonna put it on my hand first actually <laughs> glasses on glasses off oh okay oh okay i thought there was a hair in it it's a bit of the brush that hasn't gone right um so let's have a little look um <laughs> take two <laughs> take 473 oh my god it looks like i've just fallen over on freshly cut grass well, this is a disappointment. This is actually a really disappointment. Hello, pigment, where are you? I'm pushing, okay, it's coming out, but I had to push very, very hard to get that out. It does come off easy though, which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, because you're gonna use it around your eyes and if you cry. I'll go over the top of my normal mascara with it because I feel like it's not going to work very well. Let's, let's give this a go. Okay, it's worked a lot better on my eyelashes than it did in my hand. I did expect that to be a lot greener. I almost expected like a lime green when I first saw it. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I like it. Let me try and stipple it. See, this is probably what I would do with it. I would probably just use it as like makeup stippling. Um, I don't think I would use it as mascara because it didn't come out very well not as i mean i've had green mascaras before that i feel like are better than that yeah not too impressed by your mascara <gasps> see ya wouldn't want to be ya. this was something i was also very very excited for because it is literally my four colors it's four eyeliner pencil set oh it's five mother i thought it was four peter approved vegan i thought it was four it's got five in it it's got five. Mary, I love the church elders. It's got five. Um, oh my God, okay. What's the fifth one then? Oh, my finger's stuck. Rip it open the packaging like it's Chris motionless as pants. Oh, okay. Oh my God, the lids. Oh my, okay, let's, let's get one. Let's get a purple one. Oh my God. Oh, you see? These lids, I'm gonna keep these lids. I don't know what for. I would just put them on other makeup, but I, I absolutely love these lids so there they've got i've got a white a dark purple black lilac -y purple and a green let's see how well they are shall we um so white <gasps> that is so soft i do you know what after the mascara i i didn't have high hopes for these because i'm not usually a i'm not usually a um eyeliner pencil person I, I I'm a oh my god I'm a liquid liner person over eyeliner pencils um, and I was a bit dubious about these because I thought well they're probably going to be like cheap hard chalky pencils nah bruh don't insult me like that all of them all of them were so creamy or oh, they come off easily um oh no the green one and the darker purple especially the green one has kind of stained my hand a little bit so i'm going to use the black one for lipstick this is a trick from the 80s and i do it quite a lot you use eyeliner for lipstick it works really well it doesn't come off and it lasts oh my god oh that feels very comfortable very lightweight and not drying although i would pass i would let it pass if it dried because it's not made for your lips honey call the kids dinner is served does anyone else really struggle to put lipstick or anything on their top lip i'm like i have a top lip but as soon as i go to put lipstick on my top lip disappears it's like a shy erection it's like <laughs> no. No. i will definitely 100% be using this as a lipstick or even just a base for a lipstick so if you put your own lipstick over the top let's put some purple in there oh the purple doesn't really work on your lips um so let's do some let's wipe the black off it should we just do some face shit now because 
you know, my friends are all used to me looking like shit, so. Oh, that is so smooth and so, so I've got to try that white. The white is what I was really excited for because white is very difficult to get in makeup that doesn't go shimmery, that doesn't just, that isn't transparent. Um, but this is really nice. It doesn't really show up over the black. So let's do, let's do some X's on our cheeks because Emily is not creative. Okay, and then last but not least, well, not last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the purple shimmery 167 times. Um, I'm gonna use my finger for this because sometimes your finger is best. And I'm gonna do my nose blush. I can't believe how easy that was. That is actually a very good dupe for my favorite shimmery purple in the Jolie palette. I don't know if I should be telling you that. Let's go up here, baby, let's go up here. Oh my God, give me those clown vibes. <gasps> me, Chucky. <laughs> well, this took a turn for the worst. <laughs> that works really nice as a highlighter. I'm digging that, I'm digging that. That was, I think that was definitely worth the three day wait. I am obsessed. Okay, so I don't think this is too bad of a look for quick makeup because I do have to go and do the school run soon. So I, I was rushing through this video. So the range as a whole, I really like. This palette I think is absolutely gorgeous and 100% recommend it. 12 pound as well, I think is a bargain. I wish the shades were a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like they're, they're not even full pan, like they don't go to the top of the pan. Realistically, I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, but the shades and the look that I did, like, that I rushed through because, <sighs> why Why not? I'm, I got places to be, people to stare at. For the price, I really, really like it. I just noticed that all the shades, all the shades are in beetles. I knew, I saw that, but I didn't realize that the, sh the shade of the beetle corresponds with the color of the the shadow, which is really nice. That little Michael Keaton down there, look. Little Mike. Uh, this palette I really, really love. And I, I think this is 100% worth the money. The pen, I really, the pen I really like as, as well, but it's definitely geared more towards daintier makeup, like the little X's rather than thick, chunky eyeliner, which I would usually do. So I'm gonna give this a pass, but I would use it more for detailing rather than full eye looks. Yeah, it is nice. It is a really good one. And it was about six pound, I think. Worth that, because I find eyeliner pens are usually like eight quid, um, but this was definitely worth it. Mascara, I don't think that is worth. Was that six pound as well? Was everything just six pound? I don't think that was worth the money. And I, I would recommend avoiding the mascara. Um, it has made my eyelashes green, but I feel like there are other green mascaras that work better. Um, Stargazer do one. <sighs> yeah, you can get better green mascaras than this. And that's quite disappointing. Re Makeup Revolution, you will be hearing from my lawyers. I'm glad I got to try it and I do like it for stippling and doing eye like creepy kind of swamp monster zombie trash eye. I'm like stippling. I don't know if it's called stippling. I've just got that word in my head like da -da 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 -da. it's good for that. But as a green mascara, nah, it's not worth it. So that I'm gonna put that one in the bin. Not literally, like I'm going to use it, but it for the for the keep or bin, it's going in the bin. But it's not going in the bin because I will keep it. So the eyeliner pencils I absolutely freaking love. Out of this haul, I would say these two are the utmost best bits. I don't use eyeliner pencils on my eyes because I have very sensitive eyes. Eyeliner pencils are usually a bit too dry and chalky for my eyes, but these were very soft and smooth and I will definitely be using them as lipsticks and for my face that I do. 100 million percent. Absolutely adore them. Oh, just the pack, they've got little skulls on as well. Was that everything? Lipstick, I didn't get lipstick. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so last but not least, I did get another palette and um, I won't be unboxing this one. I got the I Myself Am Strange and Unusual Shadow Palette. Um, I feel like they could have come up with better names as well. This is a little bit of a dig. 
Hey, I got the Pokemon. A lot of what they're called, well, a lot of their range is called Strange and Unusual, and I do feel like that's been overused a lot. I feel like they could have very easily done a Miss Argentina palette, um, like a mini one like this, and made it blues, greens, pinks, oranges, um, and I feel like that would have been a really nice contrast to the whole black, purple, white, green. I don't know, like, I'm glad they did the red one because it's like Lydia's dress, but I feel like a Miss Argentina palette would have been a really nice mix and and a little bit of something for maybe people that don't want the dark gothy aesthetic they want that like blues do you know what i mean i feel like you missed a trick there but i got this palette i myself am strange and unusual and those are the shades to give away on my patreon so if you want to if you want to win this little mini palette check out my patreon really help out my channel but you can win some good shit so that is it. I hope you enjoyed my really, really rushed Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice review. This was literally filmed. Um, this So this package arrived at my house at 1 p.m. today and I have filmed it. I'm going to edit it. I've got to do the school run and I'm going out with my friends at six. <laughs> so I've got a very small amount of time to get this filmed, edited and up. So I apologise it's so rushed. Um, but but I, I'm really happy with um well not my makeup skills i'm really happy with the with the collab as a whole mascara aside um i think the palette i would definitely buy again and i might actually stock up on another one while i've still got it because it's a really really good palette and the pencils i feel like i can do some really good stuff in the future with those i'm gonna give this collab a big thumbs up i absolutely adore it and it's cheap but that is it guys let me know everything were you excited for this collab did you get the melt collab is there a comparison i mean one is expensive and the other is not too expensive thank you so much for watching my review don't forget to check out my patreon for your chance to win this little palette and i'll see you very soon with some more shears much love boobs take care of yourself and most of all stay weird